What if a giant planet lurking on the frozen edges of our solar system has been quietly pulling the strings of distant icy worlds for billions of years? And we've only just now caught a glimpse of it. Today, we explore the groundbreaking discovery that could finally lead us to the elusive Planet Nine, a mysterious world more massive than Neptune, 700 times farther from the Sun than Earth, and possibly real. This is the story of the best candidate for Planet Nine we've ever found, uncovered in a pair of sky surveys taken 23 years apart. Planet Nine, a name that has ignited debate and curiosity since 2016 when astronomers Michael Brown and Konstantin Batygin proposed its existence to explain a strange clustering of orbits in the Kuiper Belt, a distant, icy realm beyond Neptune. Their theory? That a hidden, massive world, perhaps ten times the mass of Earth, is tugging at these icy objects with its invisible gravitational hand. But if Planet Nine exists, why hasn't it been found? Because it's incredibly distant, and invisible light it would be practically invisible. But in infrared, that's where the mystery deepens. Astronomer Terry Longfan and his team from National Tsinghua University in Taiwan. They went hunting, not with telescopes, but with data. They dove into two massive infrared surveys. IRAS, launched in 1983, scanned the entire sky in infrared for nearly a year. Akari, a Japanese mission launched in 2006, followed up with higher resolution infrared data. Their strategy was clever. Look for faint objects in IRAS that had moved slightly by the time Akari looked at the same patch of sky. But we're talking about tiny motion here, just three arc minutes per year. That's like watching a snail crawl across the sky, from 65 billion miles away. To complicate things, Earth's motion around the sun creates a parallax effect making distant objects appear to wobble slightly in the sky over the course of a year. It's the same trick your eyes play when you close one and then the other, and your finger seems to jump. To cancel this parallax, fans' team searched images taken on the same day of the year, every year. That way, any apparent motion could only be from the object itself, not Earth's motion. And then, a breakthrough. A tiny red dot, a mysterious infrared speck, it appeared in Iris's 1983 image, but it was missing in Akari's 2006 data until fans' team noticed another dot, 47.4 arc minutes away, in the right direction, the right brightness, and the right speed for Planet Nine. That's a movement over 23 years consistent with an object orbiting at about 700 astronomical units, over 65 billion miles from the Sun. Was this it? They checked hourly data to rule out closer, faster objects like asteroids or comets. Nothing matched. This object wasn't a fluke. It wasn't fast. It wasn't local. It was something distant, something real. Here's the twist. Fan and his team were looking for a super Earth, a planet two to five times Earth's mass. But this object, it appears brighter than expected in the infrared, suggesting it's even more massive than Neptune. That's way bigger than anyone expected. So what could this thing be? NASA's WISE mission already ruled out any Jupiter-sized planets out to 256,000 astronomical units and Saturn-sized ones out to 10,000 astronomical units. But Neptune-sized worlds? Those could still be out there, hiding in the cold, dark vastness. And this one? It may have eluded WISE simply because it moved since 2006. Without knowing its orbit exactly, we don't know where to look next. If this is Planet Nine, how did it get so far out? Fan offers two possibilities. One, it formed closer in, maybe near Jupiter or Neptune, and was kicked out to the solar system's edge during the early chaos of planetary formation. Second or, it was a rogue planet, wandering the galaxy alone, until it was captured by the sun's gravity when the solar system was still young and surrounded by sibling stars. Both are wild theories, but both are possible. So what's next? Fan's team plans to look again, using today's best telescopes. But the search won't be easy. Even though we think we know where it was in 2006, Planet Nine would have moved since then. They'll need to scan three square degrees of sky, a huge area. Fortunately, the dark energy camera on the Blanco 4-meter telescope in Chile has exactly that kind of wide field of view. If the object is still there, DCAM might just find it and with the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the powerful Vera C. Rubin Observatory coming online, 
Planet Nine may finally run out of hiding places. This isn't the first time someone thought they'd found Planet Nine. Back in 2021, Michael Rowan Robinson of Imperial College London found another candidate in the IRAS data. It was smaller, three to five Earth masses, and closer in, around 225 astronomical units. But that candidate wasn't seen in a Akari's data. Fan's object? It was detected by both IRAS and Akari. That's why he believes this one is the most compelling candidate yet. So, is this Planet Nine? We don't know. Not yet. But for the first time in years, we have a real candidate, visible in two surveys taken decades apart. The race is on to track it down in today's skies. And if we do, we'll rewrite the map of our solar system once again. Stay tuned to Cosmic Explorer for updates on this incredible story. If you enjoyed this deep dive, like, share, and subscribe for more mysteries from the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up.